glasses are wet. It's raining hard. And I'm in Bath. Starting the Cotswolds Way today. It's been a quite a stressy journey. I'll go into more detail about that later. But um, I just want to get going because I'm already way behind the clock. I'm about an hour later than I originally planned. But uh, yeah, it's. Uh, that's Bath Abbey behind, close to the entrance of Bath. Um, well, the actual Roman baths of Bath. And, uh, I'm quite looking forward to, to the walk. Today is uh, a wet day, it's going to be wet until mid afternoon. But other than that, um, the weather forecast is good for the rest of the walk. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'm uh, I'll sure to keep you in touch keep you abreast of uh, all developments but uh, for now I will get myself going so I'll speak to you soon. climb up a pleasant green hill on a de decent track. Um, I've done about uh, five miles. Um, it's rained most of the way. I'm planning this walk for a few weeks and uh, following the weather forecast. I'm expecting to do it in shorts and t-shirt. It's been a lovely dry spring. Of course, today the weather broke and a couple of days ago it suggested there might be some light rain. Well, that light rain turned to heavy rain today and prolonged. So um, it's been raining since we set off this morning um, in Devon. So the whole two and a half hour journey to Bath was uh, horrible. And it's been pretty horrible since, but now it looks like it's finally brightening up. They said it would, so um, hopefully that's the last of it for the whole week, but <laughs> never say never. Um, just wanted to say thank you to Gabby for bringing me out here. Um, we had a bit of a hectic morning this morning because uh, one of our cats, BC, is poorly. He's been going to the vet for the last three days, but we've been bringing him home it's 200 pounds a night if he stays overnight i don't know where he's staying it must be the savoy or something but we've been bringing him home and having to take him in in the morning so we wanted to get off early today but couldn't drop him off until eight o'clock so behind schedule um but gabby very kindly brought me out here dropped me off i got started about 11 30 which was a bit later than i hoped because we've got a 16 mile day today 
But the other thing is, she's not very well herself. She's got a kidney problem. She's on drugs for that. She's in a lot of pain and she didn't want to let me down, which is typical of her. I could have got the train, but she insisted. Uh, so fingers crossed she's all right and very grateful. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to carry on because as I say, I've got a long way to go today and uh, it's going to be about seven o'clock, I think, before I get into my accommodation tonight. All being, all being well. Okay, speak to you soon. It's Bath Wraiths, of course. in the field. Lovely dry stone wall this. Lovely views. I think at last the rain's finished for the day. Yee! I'll be getting these waterproofs off soon. This is the site of the Battle of Lansdowne, 1643. It was part of the Civil War. More information related to the Battle of Lansdowne, Lansdowne 1643. Fascinating, this is a, this is a battlefield. wall over there was used as an artillery post firing, firing that way into the Cornishmen by the Royalists and then it fizzled out overnight and everybody went home and the two leaders of the battle were best mates as kids Interesting. Don't know much about that, but to think 400 years ago nearly, it was all kicking off here. Now all you can hear is traffic. This is the monument to Sir Beville Grenville, who was killed here at the Battle of Lansdowne. He was a royalist commander. smell of wild garlic here. Yeah. Very antisocial.
This is Margaret and Tony. Say hello. Hello there. They're doing the Cotswolds way along with me, but uh, they're the first people I've met today, so I just thought to say hello. Hello. <laughs> Checking in, walking through a churchyard. Uh, pretty tired now, I've done 10 or 11 miles. Um, thankfully, it's been dry for the last four or five, um, but I've still got six or seven to go. Um, I'm staying behind the Compass Inn tonight. In Tar Martin, you let you camp there for 10 quid and you can use the toilet facilities. That's about it, really. No, no showers and things like that, but at least I'm in. And there is a restaurant there, <laughs> but they've just told me my final orders at the restaurant are 8 30 and I'm going to be pushing it. I think at the earliest I'll be there for about 8. Uh, so uh, how I'll get my stuff up and then get into the restaurant, I don't know. Unless I order it and then put my tent up and go in stinking like a pig. But we'll see what happens. I've got food that I can heat up and have some warm food if I need to. Um, so it's all good. No issues. My feet are hurting though. My ankles are very sore. Sort of arthritic. I'm going to put some... Uh, ibuprofen gel on them tonight I think let that soak into the joints but it's been a good day after a, a poor start heard from Gabby she's home okay which I'm pleased about not heard about the cat yet but I'll check in in an hour or so about see how he's getting on and how Gabby is as well so speak to you soon Whether you caught that, Mr. Cameraman, but a fly flew right in my mouth. Then, during filming. It's all wild garlic. I think it's garlic, anyway. It certainly smells like it. I'm just about going to make it. Unlucky Mr. Bolt. Doing a bit of courting with your missus there. I'm not interested. See you later. You might have noticed, if you've been observant, that I'm sporting a new rucksack today. Um, I've dropped the uh, Osprey Exos 48 for this trip and I'm using the Montane Trailblazer 44. Fascinating stuff. 
but um, it's quite popular this rucksack uh, because it's sort of um, a hybrid between a, a running sack and, uh, and a backpacking sack but it is much lighter than the other one um, it's only four litres less in description but it feels a lot smaller it feels ten at least 10 litres less than the Exos. That perhaps shows how good the Exos really is. Um, but the purpose of it was really was to carry less stuff. So I've had to cut things down a little bit. My last walk on the southwest coast path was dogged by a very heavy rucksack on a lot of steep hills. I mean, thankfully the hills aren't so bad here but I've jettisoned certain things like footwear for the evening, um, thermal pyjamas, uh, my water filter which is quite heavy. I might regret some of them if it's cold at night or I'm particularly thirsty and I need a drink. But if you don't try and manage without these things you just keep piling them in and hauling them up these hills and uh, it takes the enjoyment out of it. So this feels a lot more comfortable. Right, about a mile or two back um, at a junction there was a sign saying um, Cotswolds Way closed because of a police incident that's been investigated so you have to take an alternative route. So it pointed the direction, that's the way I went. Anyway when I was going down there I uh, the phone went and I was talking to Gabby checking out uh, the cat and her health situation and just having a catch up and I crossed the main A46 and went down a lane but I wasn't really concentrating and uh, in the end I said I'm not really sure where I am I'm gonna have to get off the phone Gabs and uh, I'll speak to you later anyway I wasn't happy with the way I was going so I had to turn around and come all the way back and now I've just walked up the A46 for about half a mile, the traffic is flying by, you're on grass verges where you're twisting your ankle and they're, they're not pathways at all, they're just rough ground with juggernauts going past, not very pleasant. Anyway I got to a junction and there was a pub there, so what am I going to do? Well I had a, a soft drink, a pint because I'm thirsty and uh, looked at the map and I found another route now so I can find my way back to the Cotswolds Way if I'm diligent. So again I better get off here because I'll end up going wrong again. Uh, so the final destination today seems to be getting further away not nearer but uh, there you go it's one of those things. Need to be uh, on the ball all the time. Okie doke I will uh, Speak to you soon. Bye for now. Yay! I'm back on the route. It's always a relief. the delightful M4. Whew. It's been a long time and a long way but I've arrived. This is where I'm staying tonight, hopefully in their back garden where they allow you to pitch small feet. Oh, I'm relieved. It's been a long, long day.
Who doesn't love sausage and beans? I swear I'll try my best to always 